from Trinity Spadina. Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Transportation. According to Waterfront Toronto, the province's half billion dollar investment in the waterfront has paid off. Since 2001, Waterfront Toronto has generated $240 million in revenue for the province and attracted development projects worth $2.6 billion. This success is threatened by plans to expand Billy Bishop Airport to allow jet planes, which Waterfront Toronto CEO warned could bring traffic congestion, noise, impacts to public space, and disruption to boating and maritime activity. Why is the minister shrugging off airport expansion as a federal matter rather than defending the province's interests along Toronto waterfront? Thank you uh, very much, Mr. Speaker. Um, we're not shrugging anything off. I, I think on a number of issues, those of us on this side of the House uh, may differ with uh, the members opposite. We actually respect the Constitution of Canada, Mr. Speaker, and airports are not regulated by the province of Ontario or any provincial government. The zoning matters, Mr. Speaker, relating to the airport and the permissions and agreements are signed between the City of Toronto and the, uh, and the uh, Port Authority and the airport and the federal government. We are the only government that isn't a signatory to it, nor do we have a say in it, Mr. Speaker. The party opposite often raises the issues about when governments interfere in other jurisdictions. They and their cousins, in, where, where they're in government, are very defensive about protecting that. Mr. Speaker, as there are many members of his party on the Toronto City Council, I have a lot of confidence in my city councillors to manage this issue well sure. and to respect the jurisdictional authority of the federal government, Mr. Speaker, in this matter, who do regulate this and who are responsible for it, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Peter, please. Supplementary. Speaker, the, uh, the public wants a sustainable and vibrant waterfront, and the public has been clear that this does not include mega malls and Ferris wheels, mega casinos, and it does not include a mega air airport either. I recognize there are many who enjoy the convenience of a small-scale airline, but opening up the airport to jets and long-haul flights threatens the livability and vibrancy of Toronto's waterfront. And each time the waterfront has been threatened, the public has stood up to defend the public interest. Will the minister stand with the public and defend the public's interest on the waterfront?